The boy quietly recorded two home invasion burglars, but the thieves happened to see. The thieves soon came to the door. The boy and his mother were scared and hid in a safe house. The two thieves were planning how to open the safe house. Suddenly someone rings the doorbell. The boy's mother heard the commotion from inside the safe house. She immediately screamed for help. Unfortunately, the machine was malfunctioning. The people outside the door could not hear. At this moment Na happened to come out. She claimed to be the owner of the house and drove him away with a few words. Mom saw the extraordinary anger. The intercom was broken when the savior came. She tried her best to control her emotions. Let her son find a way to fix the intercom as soon as possible. At that moment, the bad woman found a drill and tried to break into the house. Mom was terrified by the sound of the drill. She grabbed a baseball bat and was ready to fight to the death. Fortunately, the door of the safe house is made of special material. The drill could not get in. The bad woman kicked the door so hard. Suddenly, the doorbell rang again. It was a police officer. The boy's mother saw hope. He told his son to fix the intercom as soon as possible. The two burglars are also discussing their response. The bad woman was about to go out when John stopped her. Because he thought she was too reckless. John wet his hair with water. Then he opened the door and told the police that he was taking a shower. The police said they had received a report of a disturbance. John claimed that his sister was not well. Now she's asleep. As the police were about to be convinced to leave, the boy's mother shouted at the police in time to stop them. The police immediately pulled out their pistols and told John to put his hands on the door and prepare to handcuff him. But then the bad woman sneaks up on him. The two dragged the body to the living room and discussed how to bury it. Meanwhile the mother and son in the safe house were planning to get help again. They had to find a cell phone. The boy says he has one in his safe. The mother wanted to go out and get the phone while the burglar was gone. But the son says the safe needs his fingerprints. The mother had to let her son risk his life to get the phone. They quietly opened the door of the room. After confirming that no one was there, they let the boy out. The boy found the safe but couldn't open it. It turned out that the power was not plugged in. He immediately went down to plug in the electricity, but accidentally dropped a bottle. 